Good morning, I'm Dennis Seoger. I'm going to show you how to add a 12 volt battery, a 120 volt outlet to the Cybertruck trunk. Uh, that way I can have a little nice little camp kitchen here. Let me show you what we're, uh, what we're working with here. You can see my existing camp kitchen set up here. I've got uh, a nice little drawer here. Um, we're going to pull this whole thing out. My wife is going to stain it. This is the electrical system we're going to set up here. I got a 12 volt battery and this is the cheat right here is we've got a 48 volt to 12 volt converter. Uh, so that's going to pull the power from Tesla's 48 volt accessory outlet underneath the front here. And then we put it into um, just a regular solar uh, charge controller that uh, tops off the battery, make sure we don't uh, overcharge it. And then we run the, the battery over here to an inverter. I got a nice beefy Renogy. Um, so I just wanted to clear something up here. 120 volts is the biggest goal here, but by adding 12 volts, I get um, the added advantage of being able to use high powered 12 volt accessories like blowers, compressors, and things like that. All right. A lot of Kessel loves our ten millimeter bolts. Right. If we got this right, the whole thing should pop out. This guy. Uh, I gotta detach that one. If I'm guessing right, it's probably just a clip. Looks like, yeah. Turns out there was just a little quick release on the cable. So I didn't have to remove the button at all. So there she goes. That's my filthy frunk. This right here is the 48 volt feed for um, Tesla gave us to play with. All right. So check that out. I like that gray she's putting on there. Just a quick sanity check on my outlets. Um, power feed for the frunk, turn it on. Bingo, 47 volts. Okay, I turned it back off. I just wanted to sanity check this and make sure that the, when the power feed is off, the voltage is off, and it is. So that's good. Um, so this is my whole rig that's inside of it that's going to be behind the scenes. It's just a, a little pigtail here uh, running off of the their hard wire. I got it shrink sealed on here. Got a really loose shrink seal all the way around here. And this coming off the top. Then we'll put a hole up here at the top so that this will pop out here and um, can hang down in the front where it can uh, hit our uh, little voltage reducer. Okay, so we're just going to do a dry run here while the 
painting dries and everything else I just want to make sure that all of this that the inverter works and uh, everything before we finish our final setup here the red and black is uh, 48 volt and the yellow and black is 12 volt 48 in 12 out okay time for another sanity check um, I'm gonna turn the outlet back on and when I get the multimeter set up here we should have 12 volts coming out of here positive negative none of the white smoke escaped so let's see how we did uh, I'm not seeing 12 volts well there we go we just needed a better contact 12.3 volts that is exactly what we wanted so now we're getting 48 volts from the truck 12 volts here and we're gonna get the 12 volts into this guy which will charge the battery so this is a pretty straightforward deal here this is coming from the solar panel solar panel and uh, charge controller is a charge controller whether it's a solar panel or a cyber truck Here's, you can see the green light is uh, sealed hmm I'll we'll have to look up what that means I'm guessing that means that we cannot charge the battery because the uh, there is no battery. So let's fix that. We know the battery's live because it's telling us the battery's live. Alright, let's get that shielded before we install the negative. Uh, double check that it is off. And it is on. Probably why they say to hook up this side before I hook the battery up. Uh, let's power up this guy and then we'll get a load on it. So we're our induction cookers powered up. We're going to turn the wattage down to 900 watts because 1300 watts is just on the edge of our power capacity. Boom! We got a little bit of water in here, and this pot is. <laughs> apparently, the sides aren't, but the bottom is stainless uh, magnetic, which means it'll work with the induction cooker and uh, cooktop. While we're waiting for this to finish, I'm going to turn on the power feed and see if we can charge this battery from the Cybertruck while the uh, system is in use. No smoke has escaped. Um, if you look over here, the PV button, which is our power feed, I guess uh, power feed, um, is, uh, is live. So we are charging the battery. We are heating up water over here, I think. Not very quickly if we are. Did I turn it on? Ah, start button. So now just out of curiosity, I'm going to see what happens if I put it up to 1300 watts. Everything seems to be still going. I, I believe this uh, Renogy is, a, is able to burst up over a thousand watts briefly. Um, we just got to probably police this and leave it at 900 watts most of the time. That's why I didn't buy a 1800-watt cooktop. Hey, look at that. 
The only white smoke escaping today is uh, steam. I am happy with that. It is locked in. Hey guys, apologize for the big time shift here. There was a whole lot of uh, trial and error and experimenting around to get everything rigged up just right. But, but I think we got it. Oops. Show you how everything ended out. So this is what we ended up with. We've got the uh, 48 to 12 volt converter here, which is where everything comes in from the truck. Uh, so we trickle charge through here. This will like uh, move about 240 volts up into the uh, our uh, battery conditioner up here. Um, the battery comes in right here on the bottom uh, on the solar panel side. Um, then we push it out to the battery here. Uh, so from here, we got the black cable and the white cable. I need to retape the, the white cable so it shows up as red. But uh, uh, going directly to the battery, the black and the white. We got uh, 14 gauge wire here, which should be able to handle the 240 volts which is going from here to the to the battery so the this guy charges the battery you can see right now I got three lights on as these two are telling me that I've got power coming from the battery and this last one is telling me that I've got power coming from the truck um, it, I'm actually trickle charging the, this battery right now um, so the red wire here goes directly over to our inverter this guy's just bolted right here on the top of my camp kitchen this is all of our uh, our regular camp gear it goes in the drawer here. Then we pull it out. Um, everything pulls out of there. This is our work surface. Um, so there you go. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you uh, if you can follow some really basic instructions, and I do have uh, to keep the battery tamed. I've got a blocker right here to prevent it from sliding out. I got a side side blocker here so it won't go forward. It shouldn't move up and down very much, but just in case um, the truck gets upside down or something crazy, this is, I mean, I'm lifting pretty, pretty hard here and it's pretty solid. Uh, so there you go, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and all that uh, good stuff.